state. This is the most important date of my life. It is the only date of your life. It's your first. I don't think the chips are going to make it or break it. But I wanted everything to be special. Oh, I know. Well, oh, time sure flies, sweetheart. I remember when your only interest in boys was how many you could beat up in one afternoon. <laughs> but that was different, Mom. I was only a kid. And besides, Jimmy McCormick is different. Honey, don't you think Jimmy's a little young? I mean, remember, girls mature faster than boys do. Mother, where have you been? Don't you know that older women and younger men is what's happening? Mm. Oh, that's him. Oh, Mom, please don't do anything to embarrass me. Oh, darling, don't worry. I'm just going to be myself. That's what I mean. Act nice. <laughs> yes, I will. I think you should answer it. Take a deep breath, you'll be fine. Right. Ooh, hi, Jimmy. Oh, don't you look nice. Uh, are those for Bridget? Yeah, they cost a dollar and 75 cents. Did you know that that's almost two weeks of allowance? Oh, well, it sure is nice of you to buy them. Well, I was going to get her plastic ones up, oh, but they were twice as much. Mm. You'd think something fake would be cheaper. Well, it is the thought that counts. Hi, Jimmy. What's wrong with you? You look like you got a stomachache. <laughs> I'm fine. Well, don't you notice anything different about me? Yeah, your face is all shiny. You've been working out. That's makeup. No kidding, your mom lets you play in her stuff. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Bridget, Jimmy brought you these flowers. Oh, yeah, my mom told me to get them. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Are you ready to drive us to the party, Mom? Sure. Don't you think you should wipe all that junk off your face first? Oh! Was it something I said? <laughs> Not really. Thank you, uh, Blanca and Chris. Okay, did a nice job. Now, the second set of challenges will take over as the same characters in the same scene. It'll continue. Joining Nancy Dussault now are Kristen Haas, and Jeremy Gosh in part two of First Date. Um, try to understand, Jimmy. I mean, this, this night was very important for Bridget. She's been planning for it a long time. But why is she spending it locked up in a room crying? That's dumb. Well, you do things sometimes you can't help, don't you? Yeah. She really likes you, Jimmy. So why'd she beat me up the first time she met me? Good question. <laughs> I think that was just her way of breaking the ice. Don't get me wrong. I think Bridget's real neat. It's just that I'm not ready for a meaningful relationship. Jimmy, where did you learn that expression? From my older brother. He's 13. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. I'm sorry I ran away and locked myself in my room. It was so childish. That's okay. We do it all the time at my house. <laughs> well, I'm going to go put these in water. That's a good idea. Maybe you should get a vase, too. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely moon out tonight? It's so romantic. How can you tell? It's still daylight. Maybe later we can sit on the porch and watch it. What for? We'll still be there. <laughs> Mother, I am not having a good time. <laughs> uh, well... Maybe we should start getting ready to leave for the party, okay? Forget it, Mom. I'm not going with him. You Neanderthal. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, dear, honey. Don't you think you're being a little hard on Jimmy? After all, it is only your first date. He doesn't deserve me. He doesn't know I'm a woman. You're not a woman. You're a kid. Well, okay, okay, okay. I think I've had enough of this. We, you are both going to the party. Jimmy? You will be a little nicer to Bridget. And Bridget, you will try to be a little more patient with your date. Hmm? I'm sorry, Mother. It's just so hard having your first date. Oh, I know. Relax. I've been dating for years. <laughs> but this date is really different. Oh, Jimmy, do you think so? Yeah. Mrs. Murdoch, 
You serve the best chips. <laughs> For the um, uh, thespians tonight and the judges judging, I'm sure you're...